Hi everyone, hope that you are doing well. Today I want to discuss about the emergency lighting. Uh, so we have uh, an office, office building and for this office I want to uh, define the emergency lighting. So to do that uh, we need to click on the calculation objects and then we have two types of emergency. So escape routes and then we need to define the anti-panic. So both cases, uh, I want to uh, both of cases of emergency lighting, I want to define for this uh, office space. Um, the first thing I will uh, draw the escape route, and I will go on the on the corridor. Here is just an example. I will not stay exactly to to do the one by one or the or the corners, but. Uh, I just want you to show how you we can do the emergency surfaces in this case anti panic and then the escape route so once it's done we can just click close and here we have one uh, the one surface related to escape route. The next one I will do for this office once again same thing good and now once it's done maybe it will not be perfect uh, rectangular that's it and what I want to show you uh, if I, you just define for not for all the spaces as we can see that we have a lot of spaces uh, in this building uh, and then we want to see the 3d what we have done related to escape route you just click the 3d and you you will sure see it the space which we have we have done um, in addition if you click on the building and then 2d we can do it like that on the story as well and then for example when i just want to see the only space which i have is the corridor and uh, the rooms which are connected so you see if for the rest of the spaces i did not they are not interacting with um, with the corridor which i defined they will not show up in my let's say, uh, emergency lighting scene. So that's very important. Here where I connect this, the space, let's say here we had an office and to the corridor, it's automatically connected as well as this office and then this part of the corridor and this, uh, this room as well, as you can see here. So everything which you connect will be there and you see here that we have more building, more rooms uh, due to the fact that I did not define let's the um, emergency escape route that will not uh, will not be included in my let's say calculation. I will try to do on this as well for this space. I'll just close it. And again, you see, so everything that you want, you create an escape route will be added to the final, um, let's say, uh, plan related to emergency lighting. So I think that's very, very important. And if you're not integrated or you don't draw that space, then it will not show up here. There. Let's do now the anti-panic. So if I want to do the anti-panic, uh, you need to create here, click on the space. So you see the anti-panic. If I go like this, it will be marked with like the frame for the anti-panic. That's also very important to know. Um, we can do also, let's say for this office and let's see if it's there. Yeah, as you see, it's already there. So these are very important uh, aspects when you want to do the the two let's say emergency surfaces one is for the escape route 
um, from that building currently on this floor and then is the anti panic especially where you have a office so we can do as well just click it's automatic defined and if you all have a different perspective then you just click on the corridor and you see how it looks and now you just have the anti escape and if you put on the let's say between them escape route it will just remain on the escape route if you put the anti panic and we should see all the anti panic um, surfaces of course next step or in the next video i want to to the define from the general lighting which luminaires will be on or will be assigned as uh, anti-panic so in the moment that uh, the general lighting is off uh, from this off is uh, we will i will define at least one luminaire to work as a anti-panic so the light will be still uh, that light will be uh, luminaire will be still be on uh, in case of losing the main main uh, main power of the less of the luminaires and then we will do also the uh, lighting calculation for the for the corridor so i hope that you find useful this information related to the emergency surfaces how you define um, the escape route surface you have the draw escape route this button and then you just go around the the, the space that you have um, that you want to establish the emergency light for the escape route and then you have also by create uh, create anti-panic surface for a space so by using these two options you can create the emergency surface and the next video for the same space we need to go on the light um, aspects and then we click on the emergency luminaires and then based on this emergency lighting depth we have defined uh, currently we can assign luminaires for for this case please subscribe to my channel give a like if you find my video interesting and you want to find out about the lighting design and until next video i wish you all the best bye bye